Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get Amazon Silk Browser to your Fire Stick. If for some reason you cannot get it from the official Amazon App Store or if you have accidentally uninstalled this app from your device. So first of all, you have to get an app called Downloader. You can get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. Just go to search on your device. Here it is. Open the search bar and start typing Downloader in the search. As you can see, there was even no need to enter whole name of the app because the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader and that's the app which we need to get to our device. But after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. And to set up the loader, we'll go to settings. So here they are, click on that button with the gear icon, then scroll down until you see my far TV. Open it and here we'll have to enable developer options for your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, don't worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps and turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on your device, here it is, open it, and there's the downloader app, which we set up and it's ready to use. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, they have a great application for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may have. And you only need one account to connect all of your devices at the same time which is great for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Estonia right now, and from the moment we connect, all our traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track us or snoop on us online. And that's extremely important if we wish to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you'd like to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open your browser, and then enter topvpnoffer.com as a website. That's my website and it's going to send you to the best NordVPN offer which is currently available. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now, with your mobile phone. That's an alternative option. And it works the same way. And now let's finally use the loader safely. So let's open the loader application. On the left side menu, make sure to click on home, that's important. And then here you'll see such a search bar in which we'll need to enter a code. The code is going to be 28907. So once again, the code is 28907. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see on your screen and do not make any mistakes because obviously if you make a mistake, the code is not going to work. Then we click on go and in a couple of seconds now, a website is going to load for us. And then after the website has loaded for us, we have to scroll down a little bit until we see a list of categories here. And the category we're looking for is obviously browsers. So now let's click on browsers and the list of browsers is going to open up for you. And here at the very top, you see Amazon Silk web browser. Let's click on it. Then if any ad opens up for you here, make sure to click on close because if you click on open, it's going to mess everything up for you. So make sure to click on close. After that, a new web page is going to finally open up, which we also have to scroll down. Keep scrolling until you see that download button right here. And if for some reason it does not work for you and the download does not start, you can always use the backup download button, which is just below the usual download. So now we click on download and in a couple of seconds, the downloading of the file is going to start. As you can see, for me, it's happening real fast, but it all depends on your internet connection speed. Now click on install right here, and just let's wait until Silk Browser gets installed to our Fire Stick device. It's installed now, but before actually clicking open, I would recommend you to click on done, 
because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file, as we don't really need it anymore. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way we have erased unnecessary installation files from our Fire Stick and did not clock the memory of our device. Now let's go to the list of applications, here it is. Scroll down and the app should be somewhere here for you. However, in my case it did not appear, so what we have to do is go to App Library and check if that app has appeared for us somewhere here. Let's scroll down, scroll, 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 and yeah, here it is, let's click on it. It seems we have to click on the Options button on our remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Show on your apps. So we click on it, now let's go back and see if anything has changed. And yeah, now the app has finally appeared. I'm not sure why it didn't appear in this list in the first place, but well, now you know how to make it appear if the same problem happens to you as well. And of course, don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and private online. Once again, you can get three months for free if you use my link in the pinned comment below the video or just go to topvpnoffer.com in your browser. See you next time. Bye-bye.